What's going on today, guys? Got something interesting to share with you. Super excited. So past couple of weeks in two different settings, I've been able to be around about 60 people I'm not usually around, okay? Um, different rooms here that, I, that I've been able to go to and meet these people, all very wildly successful, most way more successful than I consider myself to be. And um, this is in totally different, different uh, areas of life, right? Like it's not all one demographic, one um, profession, one anything. It's all super spread out. Was able to meet a lot of different people and have conversations over the, over the course of the days and found something that was almost eerie. It was like weird, right? It was like super weird. Like what you think makes you successful, whether it's in your fitness, your nutrition, your profession, your personal life, whatever it is, like these things that make people super successful. A lot of people think it's certain things. And then when you talk to the people that, that are actually super successful at it, it's not that at all. It's super basic principles and things. And so it was almost eerie. It was kind of funny that like, I'm at one place and these people are saying something. And then I go to somewhere else. That's a totally different kind of um, meeting, a totally different group of people. And they're all saying the same things that was said at this other meeting. And it's totally different, but it's similar. So I'm going to share those with you this week. It's super, super cool. And it all comes down to first principles, right? Everything that these people are successful. Um, it's, it was like, really, it's that simple. Like, Okay, and it's what we talk about here a lot. So I'm just going to share those with you. The first one I'm going to share with you today is this. People that are super successful, they are the ones that fall. The saying is what? You fall seven times, you get up eight, right? Like you fall 100 times, you get up one more time, and you fall down. That's how you're going to be successful, right? People that are super successful, when they fail, they get right back up, right? They don't let that be an excuse to quit or stop or just turn around with their tail between their legs and go the other way. Apply this to fitness, right? You work out, you get super sore, you know, oh, you might have to take a day or two off, but it doesn't mean you quit going, right? Like maybe you get a little tweak or a twinge and you say, oh, see, I knew I was going to get hurt if I started exercising. It's like, no, like you could get hurt playing soccer. You could get hurt bowling. You could get hurt picking up a box in your house. doesn't mean you're going to quit doing all that, right? Losers use that as an, as an excuse to quit. Winners and successful people get right back up, figure out how to work through it and get back at it. Okay. So how quickly you can do that. Don't let, you know, one off weekend with meals and, and workout turn into three months of skipping the gym, three months of eating unhealthy, three months of treating your body poorly, get right back on the wagon. The people that fail, whether it's a business deal, whether it is a diet, whether it's exercise, whether it's, you know, a lack of judgment, maybe they have like a blow up or like, whatever it was at home or whatever it is, like, don't let that one thing turn into days, weeks, months, years, right? Figure it out, realize and understand what happened and just push through, get back on the wagon is a good, is a good expression. Get right back to it and you're going to be successful because guess what? Everybody's going to fall. Everybody's going to stumble. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's going to eat clean 100% of the time. Nobody's going to exercise five, six days a week, every week. Nobody's never going to go on vacation. Nobody's never going to not lose their temper. But how quickly you can say, I'm sorry, how quickly you can, you know, get rid of the bad food in your house and start eating the good food again, how quickly you can start drinking water instead of soda, booze, whatever it was you're drinking, how quickly you can do these things is going to determine how quickly that and how, how quickly you'll be successful and if you'll be successful at all. And the thing is, a lot of people, I talked about this last week, we're actually planning to fail, right? We get this moment of motivation that strikes and we make this plan and our subconscious is like, no, you're not really going to do it, right? Like it's uncomfortable as humans, we, we run towards pleasure or we run away from pain, run towards pleasure, run away from pain. Pleasure is comfort. Pain can be discomfort. Discomfort can be not like necessarily physical pain, but getting out of your comfort zone, whether it's exercise, nutrition, business, uh, your career, your house, whatever it is, um, getting uncomfortable is where we grow. Getting uncomfortable is where we expand our knowledge base, expand and do that thing that will make us successful. All right. So getting out of that comfort zone is really what we're looking to do. And a lot of times we say we want to do it. We have a moment of motivation, but really in here, we're like, no, we're not going to do it. And at the first sign of trouble, 
we're just going to quit, right? The first sign of trouble, we're going to stop. It's like, oh, you know, like, I don't know, you go like, and you maybe have like a little muscle tweak when you first start working out. Well, like you went a little bit too hard. That's fine. Back it off. Let's, you know, ice it or, or stretch it or do whatever we need to do to, to rehab it. But don't say, oh, guess what? I tried working out once and then, you know, I got, I got hurt and then I quit, right? Like you were, were you looking for that? Were you trying to fail? Or like, this is one I hear all the time. Like, I just don't like healthy food. And it's like, well, would you rather be 30, 40 pounds overweight and eat fast food and, you know, spend, you know, I don't know, go to the doctor once a week because of all these health related causes? Or would you rather like try to work in some vegetables in your diet, try to get some clean protein in there, maybe stop eating so much fast food? Like, yeah, it might not be as delicious as the pizza or the burgers or the, or whatever you're eating right away at the time. But over time, you'll get used to it and your body will start to have a positive relationship with how it goes down, how it makes you feel. And then, yeah, like it's going to be better, right? It might not be like that first time. Like if you're used to eating pizza and ice cream, then you're going to have maybe some grilled chicken and some broccoli and some sweet potatoes and some, uh, I don't know, like a mixed green salad or whatever it is. Like, yeah, day one, it might not be the best thing you've ever eaten. You might be like, oh man, this kind of, this is not as good. And if you drink sweet soda and you've got a sweet tooth and you're addicted to sugar, and you switch to drinking more water, yeah, it's gonna to be tough at the beginning, but don't use that as an excuse to be like, okay, I'm done, I tried, that's it. Like, no, try like it's something you're actually good at. Try like it's something you're gonna succeed at. Know in your head that you're actually going to do it. Have that vision. This is kind of a teaser of, of one of the other things that all these successful people um, that I was able to talk to and, and be around that they have done. And that's just like, well, I'll leave that one, I'll leave that one for, uh, for another time. but. How quickly can you get up when you fall down? How, or how quickly you can get up when you fall down? How quickly you can pivot and make changes when something happens that was unexpected? The people that let that not take days, weeks, months, years are the people that are successful because everybody will fall. Everybody will stumble. It's going to happen. How you react to it is going to determine what, um, what level of success you'll have. All right. So this week, I'm going to be sharing... Lots of different uh, things that I learned that these, you know, all these different people have in common. And um, yeah, I hope it's helpful for you. It was super helpful for me, eye-opening. If you guys need help with um, mindset, with um, nutrition, with exercise, I always put a free guide in the comments. I'm going to put it there as soon as I sign off here today. And then we will see you back tomorrow. Have a great day, guys.